Hey guys, it's Thomas here with TechnoVision and welcome to the next episode of our Minecraft modding tutorial series. In this episode, we're just going to be showing you how to export your mod for a release build in case you are ready to release your mod, you're completely done with it. And I just want to mention really quickly that this does not mean that the series is over. I promise you there are still tons of videos I have planned for the series, so don't worry about that. I am just making this video right now so that those of you who have finished your mod can release it as soon as possible. So in order to get started, we want to come over to our resources folder and go to your meta uh, package here, open up the mods.toml. And in this uh, file here, you're going to have a lot of options that you might want to modify before you make your build. So uh, for example, our version here, you can see that our, our version is outdated because I never switched this when we updated to 1.16. So I'm actually going to change this to 1.16.1. Uh, but some things that you might want to do, uh, might want to change before you build your mod. Uh, you might want to add an issue tracker URL here. This could be like a GitHub account uh, that you want to track bugs for your mod. Uh, you might want to change the version. Again, you want the version of Minecraft first, a dash, and then the version of your mod. Usually starter mods that are just coming out are uh, version 1.0. That's generally what they are when they first start out. And then as you update, each update that you release, you can uh, increase this uh, version amount to like 0 0.1 and 2 and 3 and so on. All right, uh, you might want to change the display name. Again, this is the name that will show up in the, uh, the mods package. Um, you can skip the update JSON URL, not very important, but the display URL will show up in the mods package the little mods button on your launcher. So I would recommend setting this to your website or maybe a wiki for your mod, or it could be like a YouTube channel, uh, anything, even your GitHub, uh, anything that relates to your mod that people can click on that would be useful. Uh, we can also set a logo and I'm actually gonna do this really quickly. So uh, you wanna name this uh, anything, the name of your, your PNG file, but I'm gonna put this, uh, this name is logo. And uh, this PNG file is just going to be whatever image or logo you want to add to your mod uh, in the uh, display menu. This is optional. You don't actually need this, of course. So it's only if you want to add like a logo. But I have an, an image right here, just my uh, channel profile. Uh, and I have named it logo exactly what we put here. It does have to be the same. And you want to just take this uh, file, this PNG image, and just drag it into your resources folder. And just hit refactor. Um, and it'll get in there and we can see that our logo.png is inside of our resources folder now and that should load a logo when we uh, actually load the mod. And then just before we uh, we actually move on, make sure that your credits, your authors, and your description is exactly what you want it to be and then we can actually build our mod. Okay, so what you want to do is come to your desktop and you want to open your command prompt. So CMD, there we go, command prompt. And we want to first CD to desktop. And now we want to CD into our mod folder, the folder that holds our source. So first we're going to CD into the Minecraft modding folder, of course. There we go. And then once we're in there, we can CD into our actual mod folder, which in my case is tutorial mod. And again, this is just this uh, folder right here, this Minecraft modding folder, and then tutorial mod. So we're inside of this folder now. And all we have to do is type Gradle W and then build. And this will start building the uh, the mod. So it'll start a daemon. It might take anywhere from like one minute to, sorry, one second to uh, uh, like a couple minutes. But you can see here that was super quick, build successful. Um, so we can close out of here. And to access our jar, we can go to our folder here, Minecraft modding, our mod folder, go to build, go to libs. And there is our mod right here. It's gonna be called mod ID 1.0. We can drag this out. And let's just rename this to our mod name. In my case, it would be tutorial mod, tutorial mod dash, and then the version of the mod. So in my case, 1.0. So when people download your mod, they're going to see this and they're going to know, oh, well, I'm using tutorial mod uh, and it's version 1.0. And it's going to be super easy for them to sort of um, know what version they're on. Now you're pretty much done. This is the, uh, the actual jar. So if you know anything about Forge, you can just drop this right into your mods folder, or you can upload it to any of the major uh, Minecraft modding websites like CurseForge, uh, Minecraft's Planet Minecraft, Minecraft Forums, which I'll have in the description, but you can do that yourself. What I am going to show you is how to install Forge real quick and how to use this mod in case you've never done that before, because I'm sure that there are a few people who don't know how to do that. So what you want to do is come to the first link in the description 
and it will take you to the Minecraft Forge page. And we want to go to 1.16.1 because we are uh, making a mod for 1.16 and we want to download the installer. So click on installer and it'll uh, take you to this ad page again. Again, don't click on any of the ads, uh, but we want to wait a couple seconds here and then hit skip. All right, so hit skip and it will download as you can see here in the bottom left corner. I've already downloaded it, but once it's on your desktop, uh, it should be Forge 1.16.1. You can double click this and it'll open up a little small launcher here. And we wanna make sure we have install client selected and just hit okay. And this will install Forge for 1.16 uh, so that we can actually use our mod uh, in Minecraft. And just give it a second here. Uh, and I should mention that, again, what you're uploading to these modding websites when you want people to download your mod is this. Like, it's just this uh, jar that people are downloading. Okay, so it's done. We can hit OK. What you want to do is go to your uh, file explorer, go to percent, app data percent, go to dot minecrafts. And then what we want to do is right click in this folder, new folder, and we want to name this mods. And this is going to hold all of your mods and we can actually just drag our mod that we just built out into here. And uh, now if we open up Minecraft, we can go to Minecraft. We should be able to see, there we go, Forge. Uh, make sure you select the Forge uh, for your, uh, your Minecraft version. And then uh, once you have that selected, you can hit play and I will see you guys inside of the game. All right, so we're inside of the game and if we go to the mods button here, you can see that we do have our tutorial mod. It does have our logo that we set and the version is correct and we've got all of our links and our description. So the mod is working and now you can upload your mod to any website, have people download it, share it. You can play it on your Minecraft version and really anything you want. So yeah, I hope that helps those of you who are done with your mod and look out for some more tutorials in the future. I will see you in the next episode.